I'm back! <laughs> yes, this is Jun from the Philippines and welcome to my plus Shop channel! Yay! <laughs> and I would like to thank everyone who watched my very first video. Thank you so much and I'm also overwhelmed to those who subscribe to my channel. Thank you, thank you and in uh, addition to that, to all those uh, lovely people who commented on my video, again, thank you, thank you so much. And this channel is all about my cross teaching journey. So let's start! Stitchable update. Currently, I'm using a nylon sling to hang all my frame pieces, and it's kind of tedious to use that. So. Uh, every time you're going to change the layout or if you're hang a new frame piece, you just need to tie or untie the ha nylon and then you have to balance it out. So it's kind of tedious. So instead, over the past few weeks, I just uh, searched for a better way to hang all my frame piece. So I just discovered this kind of hanging wire. So it looked like, it looked like this one. So you need this is the this is the hanging wire and this is the hook. Okay? So you're going to hook this at the back of your frame and then this one you need to loop it on your on the curtain rod. So if you're going to adjust the height of the uh the frame, uh you just need to push this and place it on your desired position and then you just need to release it and it will lock automatically and that's quick <laughs> and it's really really easy to use so I just replaced everything and use this one and because of that uh, I I just update my I just updated the layout of my wall because we have a latest addition to the wall so this is the previous layout and then this is the new layout and our latest addition to our wall is Eliana yay so that's my updated wall so I love I love him and and also Persephone will be here in two weeks time so I'm happy I'm really happy and excited already and to be again a, uh, a challenge for rearranging it again on how are you going to put person on your new layout. So we'll see, we'll see. So that's it for my stitchable update. Here's my conversion process of my Blooming Bride. I just discovered this Blooming Bride chart from a floss tuber when she featured her finished frame piece and I was so mesmerized how massive and how gorgeous this bride was and I decided to look for the chart and started getting up and also I look I look for the for fabric and I think this is coffee beam 32 count linen so I just made a minor conversion on this one and the first thing comes from my mind is the size and the shape. Like I have this wild imagination uh, turning her into a human and having her wedding ceremony and wearing this gorgeous dress. <laughs> so I just borrowed her face and decided not to open her eyes and change the uh, flower crown I used I used uh Kiron what I used by Kiron on this one on the flower crown and I just made a slight modification on her hands and re completely retain all the details of her dress. I just removed the uh black and white lining or the border and then removed the confetti. I have I, I just envision her popping out on this gorgeous fabric. So I love it. I love it and I just love how how this conversion turned out. 
and I have ju I just have this incident when I finished this uh, piece. I decided to wash it, and I didn't. I completely forgot that Karen Waterly, a uh, water lease maker, will kind of will bleed when you wash it. So it bleeds on the upper dress. So uh, I decided I frog everything that has those stain and restriction. it. Anyway, it's lesson learned. <laughs> so here she is. Very flora update, but before that, this is what very flora looks like the last time you saw it. And here's what I've done. Okay, I completely managed uh, finishing all the conversion stitches and proceed to the original stitches. So, started working on the background. I love the colors of the background. The, the the greens and the purple I love it I completely retained the background of the fairy flora and also the wings I love that wing so I'm excited to do that so here she is my update on fairy flora I love it <laughs> Ophelia update so this is Ophelia looks like the last time you saw it and here's what I've done a minor update. So I added some flowers, the leaves, and portion of her dress. I'm having a hard time doing this because of the switching of colors. You'll notice on the transition or the gradient of the colors from on the on her dress. So it's a lot. It's a lot of threads. It's kind of your. It's kind of working like working or stitching, Eliana. So. She is. So I mentioned on my first video that video that I will have her uh, face uh, conversion, but still I don't have any conversion yet. So I'm planning to do it on the latter part. As I need to finish everything, and the face will be the last thing that I will. Do. Okay, but I'm enjoying this design. I love it. <laughs> That's my OP update. And for my final whip update is Deepest Love. So this is what Deepest Love looks like the last time you saw it. Okay, and here's what I've done. So I'm nearing completion of her tail and I love the colors, the gradient, I mean, the transition of the colors. I love it. I love the teal colors. And it's not really hard to stitch this because of the black, black solid colors. There's, I don't know. I'm, I'm loving stitching those uh, black of colors. And also, I love stitching light colors, especially the white ones. <laughs> I don't know. I really love it. So. This is Diva Slow. And she's gorgeous. <laughs> I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching my videos. And if you have any comments or suggestions, just let me know. Just comment down below. Or you can shoot me a message on my Instagram account. It's June X Stitch. And just enjoy the cross stitching journey. And happy stitching. Stay safe and see you at my next video. Bye!